some are calling him the wild card of the GOP presidential candidates. Ron Paul, a new CNN ORC international poll shows Paul surging. This is Newt Gingrich's lead evaporates. Now, a lot of people are asking this morning, could Ron Paul actually win in Iowa? John Avalon thinks so. He's a CNN contributor and senior political columnist of Newsweek and the Daily Beast. Good morning. Uh, nice to Good see morning. you, John. As always, you're just back from Iowa, as a matter of fact. Um, I want to talk a little bit about this uh, formula that Nate Silver of the New York Times came up with. And basically, uh, a very sophisticated one. He factors in polls, momentum, undecided voters. And look at what we came out with. Um, you know, we want to put this up on the screen here. 52% favor Ron Paul, 52 percent, uh, you know, that, that you know, they, they believe that he'll win Iowa. Now, That's right. this is pretty incredible. This is not something that you see normally on CNN. So having said that, you spent some time in Iowa. What do you think? Does he have a shot at winning? He does have a shot at winning on the Iowa caucus. And that was the, the point of a CNN.com column I did yesterday saying, look, don't count Ron Paul out in Iowa. This was apparent when I was there last week. You could see not only the intensities of his, of his supporters, and his, Ron Paul supporters are famously intense, um, but this is a campaign that's really effectively been going on for four years, since the last time he ran for president. And in many cases, in many ways, his views have been vindicated. So given that caucuses are high intensity, low turnout elections, uh, that you should not count Ron Paul out. And the impact of Ron Paul pulling off an upset in Iowa would, would, would resonate throughout. How the, so? Uh, campaign. Well, first of all, I think a Ron Paul win ends up being a de facto benefit for Mitt Romney mm, because right, it exactly. takes Newt Gingrich out of the narrative. It forces right. him to fight in South Carolina and Florida without win, uh, win under his belt. Mm -hmm. uh, Mitt Romney right now still has that glass ceiling mm -hmm. uh, that's been bedeviling him this entire campaign, but the support is now diffused. The opposition to Mitt Romney seems more diffused than it was two weeks ago when Newt Gingrich was sucking up all that support. Right. But, but Ron Paul has an independent base of support. His folks are not fickle. They are not going anywhere. That's they right. are true believers, and I believe they, they, they're outside the stereotype of Ron Paul supporters, particularly in Well, Iowa. you touched on this because you talked about how ardent his supporters are, how emphatic they are. I mean, you just look at his ground game in Iowa. I mean, he has run not a year and a half campaign like a lot of people, but a five year campaign because his supporters never left. They continued knocking That's on right. doors. And in a sense, Ron Paul never left. You know, um, now having said that, you, you spent some time in Iowa. Sure. And, you know, Ron Paul's supporters, you know, if you read the media reports, they're college students who want to legalize pot. But you right. saw something different there. I did. I, I, I don't think they deserve to be stereotyped that narrowly. <laughs> right. You know, I went to a, a Ron Paul Town Hall in Marshalltown, Iowa, and it was filled with, you know, middle class blue collar folks who were just there on an early Saturday morning to hear what he had to say, and they were nodding their heads. Probably around 20 of the crowd of 100 stuck around to organize Iowa. So, so I do think in many cases his views, while uh, you know people can disagree with different parts of the Ron Paul formula, in some core ways his views have been vindicated. He deserves credit, I think, for philosophic consistency. Mm -hmm. He was making these points when it was very unpopular during right. the Bush years. Right. Um, whether you call his foreign policy non-interventionist or near-isolationist, there's that skepticism about the wars. There's a skepticism about the Fed, given what we've learned. There's that sense of, of, of that he is a consistent constitutionalist that appeals to people in Iowa. So I think you know people should take Ron Paul seriously. I think he deserves credit for his intellectual influence inside the Republican well, Party, uh, and this just might be his time. You know, our polling also shows that the one thing that voters really, really like about Ron Paul uh, is that he's least likely to act like a typical politician. Yeah. Uh, now, having said that, you know, let's, let's look ahead to the general election here. I mean, isn't that a liability in the general election? Not just that. Look, I mean, people don't want a typical politician. Uh, they, they want someone who's authentic, and Ron Paul is defiantly himself. There's no question. But the question of Ron Paul being a general election nominee, that's where things get a little more Dice. Right. You know, they're, 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 I think, you know, the chances of an upset in Iowa are, are I don't know if they're as strong as Nate Civil says, but they should not be counted out. Um, that said, general election nominee, could Ron Paul be the nominee of the party that, you know, famously rallied behind the Bush family twice? It is a fundamentally different philosophy of government. Mm -hmm. That becomes more difficult to believe, but he has enthusiasm that other candidates can't buy. And, and so that deserves to be taken in context and seen with a sense of respect. One interesting thing about the CNN poll mm. is Ron Paul's support, people who say that they would not consider voting for him among the undecided Republican mm -hmm. primary voters, higher than those who say they're open to voting for him in the mm. total field. Yeah. So that's an important wrinkle and, sure. and, and, and a, a, you know, a detail to appreciate as we look at Ron Paul's status. All right, so then as field. you look at that, if you're a betting man. If you're a betting man.
What do you think? <laughs> I think <laughs> two well, weeks away. Look, I, if we just look at Iowa, separate from the national right. from the national polling, I think Ron Paul deserves to be taken seriously. I think he could very easily pull off an upset in Iowa, and that would shake up the race big time. All right, we're going to hold you to it. We're going to come back. <laughs> we're going to bring you here. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Keep in get... mind, a most important thing: not a single vote has been cast. <laughs> That's so right. Everybody gets ahead of themselves. At the end of the day, the Iowa voters, the primary voters, they're the folks who make the decision. We're just looking at the weather and saying, you know what? There's a storm front coming.